first thing that we're going to think of is when we use the term strong, right? For me, it's not just structure, but it's structure oriented towards my opponent's blade across the center line on a horizontal plane, which means that uh, my structure is not this way. I'm not trying to be strong this way. I'm not trying to push her away from the center line going up, right? I'm trying to push her center, away from the center line going left or right, right? So uh, in this case, her blade is on my inside. I'm going to push to my left, her right, across the center line. And if she wants to be strong, that means she needs to push her blade, her point, she needs to push her point over my blade, her left, my right, right? So when we think about strong, we're imagining, or at least when I'm thinking about strong, we're imagining going across the center line. Our structure is important. So it does, I mean, I'm not gonna try and do it like this, right? I'm gonna try and do it like this. I'm gonna try and be in push-up position or centered in the direction of my opponent's sword across the center line. Doesn't matter if my arms are like this, I can still achieve that, just like I can still go out in a push position like this and still be in rest, right? Still let my skeleton do the work, okay? Um, but what's important is this structure, right? So now, my opponent cuts in, we're in the Zorn half fight, I begin with this right here. I begin with this strong angle. I have the strong angle that I can proceed first. Now in this case, my opponent is weak and not pushing. So the correct response for me is to shoot the point. Now you see, if she's weak and not pushing, right, I'm strong, she's weak and not pushing. As I shoot the point, it weakens her. She's not pushing. As I shoot the point, or as Myers says, put the point to him, it weakens her naturally. She's not pushing, right? My hilt is going towards her sword, but my hilt is going towards her sword, but I'm still staying at shoulder level or chest level. It's still long, right? So this is still a long point. This isn't winding, okay? So again, we start from the Zorn Howe play. She strikes in. I'm strong. I just Zorn Howe. And then the play begins. I'm strong, she would be strong against. What this means is she starts pushing laterally. Now if she's strong enough, if she's pushing, when I say strong enough, I don't mean physically strong, I mean she's pushing laterally enough not to be a threat to me anymore. She pushes lateral, push, come on, you can beat it. As hard as you can, right? She pushes over there, I can zook in. Or I can dirch faxon, push it that way again, I can dirch faxon and thrust because her point's not a threat. However, if she pushes, but aims towards my shoulder, as hard as she can, she pushes as hard as she can, she's aiming towards my shoulder, she never crosses the center line. She's never able to push my sword aside because she's never able to push it laterally enough to defeat my structure oriented towards her pushing. Okay? So, I can't zook in in this case because if I zook in, She's pushing towards my shoulder. As I pull back, her point is on line. So I can't zook in. I can't just vex in, right? But I'm still strong. She's still pushing. Now, as she pushes as hard as she can, right? If I go to shoot the point from here, look at where my point ends up, all right? So she's strong. She's trying to be strong. I'm strong because I got the Zorn house. She's trying to be strong, and I go to thrust her the same way I did before. I don't weaken her because she's pushing, okay? Now, we know that if she's not pushing and weak, I can thrust her, I can shoot the point. And we know that if she is pushing, not enough for me to zook in or defection or declare in, but she's aiming towards me, she's, tr she's pushing just towards my right sh shoulder, just across the center line, right? Then. I can't shoot the point because my hilt, my sword goes to her cross. Now, let's go back here. We start with a wind. If she's not pushing and I go to wind, and by go to wind I mean I maintain my strong angle. Right? She would she would be strong. I may I remain strong, and then I lift my hilt to her sword. Right? So if she's not pushing, and I remain strong and I lift my hilt towards her sword, what happens? Do it again. Right? 
So I go for it, and I don't get it. I'm really trying to come a little closer. Right, she's getting a little hung up. I bet you extend your arms a little bit further. Right, so she can defeat me every time. If I try and whine and she's not pushing, if she's weak and I try and whine, she can defeat my whine with a direct strike. But if she's pushing, if she's trying to be strong, right? She's pushing, she's trying to be strong, trying to do something. Push. Alright? Do it again. I really want you to do it. I want you to do it. Okay? Do it again. I want you to do it. I mean, you can do it. Are you okay? Yeah. Do you understand why you can't do strikes on? Yeah. Why? Because I'm already committed. Yeah, because you're already pushing, right? So, if I try and wind when she's pushing, right, then I maintain, I maintain the, the, the temporal relationship. I'm still only one step ahead of her, right? I'm still vor, she's still knock, but I don't gain an extra step. I'm not two steps ahead of her. I'm still only one step ahead of her. I'm no better off on time than I was before, but I'm no worse off. The difference is I'm much better off positionally than I was before because now I have this, right? Is that I've enhanced my geometric superiority. So even though I haven't enhanced my temporal superiority, I've enhanced my geometric superiority. So what the wind is, is me responding to her pushing, not laterally, but towards me, but across the center line. She would be strong. She wants to be strong. But because I start strong, she can't move my sword aside. If I try and thrust from there, my sword gets displaced naturally. If I wind, she can't counter my wind. She can't gain that indes back. Because I'm only winding in response to her strengthening. So she has no access to feeling. Whereas if I try and wind when she's weak but not pushing, she can feel. And so she can respond to my wind, which is an act of strengthening and can be worked in this. Thanks. Thanks, Emma. <laughs>